everybody. Shea Bear 1000 here. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to tell a, I'm going to tell a story to you guys and this story happened over a two day period two different places. Uh, it's not so much of a ghost story as it is a paranormal story because uh, I can't prove there was any ghost or spirits involved but it is paranormal which we all know the paranormal is anything but normal so I'm gonna start off to Sunday when we went to the fire tower okay it was just like a bad luck day it was just it was a weird day you know um, started off the GPS took us I explained in the video took us way back behind where we was supposed to be well we finally found it because I kept I googled different stuff and uh, we had to keep stopping to get service so I could google this finally finally we found it now when we left there let me tell you this when we left there see the store was right across the road that old uh, that old store when we left the store we went up the road maybe a mile and it was the main road that we could have just turned off on if the GPS would have took us down like two more miles and then hung a right we would have been there and it had us turning like four miles before and had us going so I, I don't know so that's weird I know that happens that has nothing to do with anything and then uh, my drone crashed you know I crashed my drone that was partially my fault a lot of it was my fault because she wasn't really asking questions to me per se she was just like asking you know is this recording and well you know I'm looking over and talking to her like an idiot when I got a drone a hundred feet in the air you know so okay so I crashed my drone right it's total I'll do a video on that sh and show you what's wrong with it but it's total so that was the first thing so I'm like oh well you know shit happens you know no big deal and she felt bad and, you know I'm sorry you crashed your drone I'm like it's okay it's alright you know anybody has got a drone will tell you you know you're going to crash it you know there's two kind of drone operators those that have crashed and those that are going to crash but anyway so uh, you know no big deal I uh, it was just you know she just got it for me for Christmas just to hold us over until we can get a good one it was a cheap drone it was like 60 bucks it's like a beginner drone but it did all kind of stuff you know uh, I was pretty impressed with it but uh, so no big deal so I start doing my um, my intro and I'm talking and she's having problems with the camera and it's our new one this one right here the 4k the one I used out back on Saturday, out back here when I did the fire, the rocket stove, that's the one I used flawlessly. That thing has never let us down, you know, and it works fine. She's having problems with it. Wasn't she had hit record and the the counter up in the corner it read all zeros but it didn't start counting up. The red light didn't blink. The blue light on the back didn't blink, and it just froze up. It wouldn't wouldn't do anything, you know. Just so I was like, no problem. So uh, we got the other camera. We, we brought three that day. It's a good thing. So we she went back and got the other camera, and I come back and mic'd her up, and uh, it was fine. So I started finish doing finishing my my uh, uh, my intro and I explained what was going on in the intro what it was was it would just freeze it it was fine everything would work okay until you hit the record button to start filming then that's all it would do and then nothing else would respond you take the battery out again it was fine you could go to settings you could do you could take still images and full spectrum and in color um, the only thing you couldn't do is record and but 
um, I'll, I'll put that footage in right now. I brought three cameras in the drone and she said that's too much equipment. I said you can never have too many cam too many cameras. Yeah you can. It's a good thing I brought three because our 4K, the one I was using yesterday to do the rocket stove, for some reason it's freezing up, it's not doing anything. I mean it's working but it's not, it won't hit record, the counter comes up and it does nothing so I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay so as you can see, you know, we're definitely having problems and I explained, you know, uh, it was a good thing we brought three, three cameras and, and stuff like that, okay. So no problem. So she does her thing with the other camera, our, our old one, that the first one, new one we bought a few years ago when we were together. It's been around the block a few times, but you know, it's still, it's got its issues, but it still works. It's a great backup. So we get back towards the truck. And we're over by that kiosk where you, can, you sign your name and, you know, you, you can get brochures and pamphlets and stuff like that. We was over by there and we was done filming. So we're getting ready to get in the truck and I, I just picked up the camera and I thought, what the hell's going on? Picked it up. My computer just came on. Wasn't on a minute ago. So I picked up the camera, opened it up, it came on perfect, and it was working perfect. I don't know why, but it was. But it did stop recording, it stopped working. Now, but when we got back to the truck at the kiosk, I, I turned it on just to check it. And, um... It was working flawlessly. You know, at the time you're thinking, well, maybe it was a memory card issue. Well, I had already changed the memory cards before that, thinking that was a, the problem. I thought maybe it was corrupt or something. Two different memory cards. I tried two different, two batteries out of three. Same thing. Battery light lit up green and everything in both of them. But... It just started working. I turned it on. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened the opened the cover. When you open the cover, it just automatically comes on by itself. You know, of course, I don't have the memory card in right now because I was importing videos. And then you got your power button there. Now, so I'm thinking, what? Okay, no big deal. But it, I just, it came on, it started recording, which you will see in this uh, little clip right now. It's recording? Yep. Okay. Say hello, hello. That's weird. Very weird. It wasn't working a moment ago. Okay. Now, here's the paranormal part. I mean, we've all... Anybody that's YouTubing or has YouTubed or filmed anything, you're going to have technical problems. You're going to have mic problems. You're going to, if you have an external mic, you're going to forget to turn it on. You know, your 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 batteries are going to go dead. Your memory cards are going to get full. Uh, it could be too hot outside. Your cameras are going to shut down. It could get damp and it'll it'll stop recording. It'll shut down. Uh, you know, problems like that. But this was a perfect day. Um, now here's here's where the paranormal part comes in. Okay, when we was over at the store, okay, the old store, it's right across the road. When we were there, I was reading on the sign, okay, which I'll put in right now. Now I didn't put two and two together until later you know until we was on the way home but if you look in that on that sign in 1926 the Pasco County Sheriff which that's the county we were in Pasco County I've, I've got it brought up here um, so I can get get this right for you uh, he was a deputy sheriff okay the deputy sheriff William O'Berry okay 
He was shot and killed east of the store while attempting the theft of a while attempting to arrest Charles Davis, okay, a worker. He was a worker at the local turpentine still, which I think I read that in, in the clip, and I'll, I'll put that clip in here where I read that part. In 1926, Pasco County, that's the county we're in, Deputy Sheriff William O'Berry was shot and killed east of the store while attempting to arrest Charles Davis. And it, I didn't put two and two together, okay? It was over the theft. He was trying to arrest him over the theft of a dog. Apparently he stole a dog or something. And it was east of the store. Well, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've got to doing research and it was right over, over there where, see, that was in 1926. The tower was built in the 30s to 40s. So this was before the tower was built, but it was right over where in that tower area is where that deputy sheriff was killed. Now... Does that have anything to do with it? I don't know. Is it paranormal? Well, yes, it's paranormal because I can't explain. I mean, the camera is working fine. Uh, you know, it's always had a mic issue, even with a, you know, the mic's like really loud. Even with a, an external mic, it just, it's really loud for some reason. But anyway, when I got a hold of the company, anyhow, they gave me a bunch of money back on it. So I'm, I got the camera for, it was like, it was 200 and some dollars. You got a whole bunch of crap with it. But they took, you know, I ended up giving like 40 bucks for it. They refunded some money back because there wasn't nothing they could do about it. I offered to send it back and they said, no, how about just a refund? So I said, okay, that's fine. I'm good with it. Okay, because I'm mostly going to use it for, you know, the full spectrum for uh, paranormal investigations if it'll ever work. Okay, so that's the first story. Now, what you know, th that that deputy was killed right right across the road. You know, from where that store is, east of the store, which that's where that's at. Because when you leave, you're heading west. Okay, so that was a little weary. And then, uh, of course, uh, now Monday, if you guys watched our day battlefield. D-A-D-E, the Dade Battlefield, where the, uh, the, the U.S. government and the Seminole, the Seminole uh, Warriors, the Seminole Indians, um, they had a battle there. didn't last very long. And uh, the, the U.S. troops, they, they got slaughtered. Out of uh, 108 men, there was 100 uh, servicemen, enlisted men, they called them. Uh, so they were just like the fighting guys, the soldiers. And there were eight officers, and everyone was killed except for three um, enlistment men who were severely injured. Um, and we was right there where the slaughter happened. Right there, if, if you watch the video, um, it's there. I, I mean, we were standing right where the officers fell, right where at the end of the... Uh, of the battle where they went around the Seminoles and made sure everyone was dead. Now those three guys, they, they played possum and they missed them. So, I mean, that was a lot of bodies to go through. So yeah, they got missed. They missed them. And uh, so they did survive. But now, <laughs> here's the thing. This camera right here, all right, I only brought that and the camera I'm using right now. Now, <laughs> oh, by the way, talking about uh, when we was at the fire tower, when I show you that clip, if you looked down in the left-hand corner, you can see the camera I'm using now, so you know I was using this one when it kicked on. So anyway, I checked, uh, okay, we went in, kind of looked over the, uh, kind of just took a quick glance at the uh, visitor center. And Monkey had to had to change her clothes. So we went back out of the truck. And she got her clothes and went back in to go change her clothes. Well, while she was in there, I checked the camera out. Everything worked fine, flawlessly. You know, we go in, we do our thing, we do our filming. She was using the 4K. Working flawlessly. And here's just a, 
five or ten second clip to show you that the camera is working. Pour some of the gunpowder into the pan, close the frizzing, roll the musket over, put the rest of the gunpowder down the barrel, put the paper down the barrel, put the bullet down the barrel, and then ram it down with the rammer. Okay. Now, <laughs> we get out in the battlefield where the massacre happened. The, it was an ambush. Where the ambush happened, camera started doing the same thing. It just everything worked fine you take still images but as soon as you hit the record button it just like froze up I know what a lot of you guys are thinking well there's a problem with that well the problem I'm having with that problem is that it never done it before and it hasn't done it since I've been messing around with it here at the house and everything it's not and it's working fine there's no issues flawless okay so the whole time you know I'm trying to get it to work and I I talk about that in this clip right here. So, what's going on with my camera, babe? Um, same thing as yesterday when we was at the tower. Yeah. It's unresponsive. I got it taking still images now, but as soon as I put it on to, uh, to video mode, mm -hmm. uh, it's not responding. Mm. It's not doing anything. And once you click it to hit record, mm -hmm then it becomes unresponsive you got to pull the battery out and reset it uh. now yesterday it started working fine as soon as we got to the truck yeah so let's see what happens today yeah and i used it inside so it was working inside yeah mm -hmm. so and this is our newest one yeah yeah so uh. see, it took still images yeah it took Shift still blue. images Oh, wow. See? And then it won't shut off. It will not respond once you hit the record button to start filming. Oh, no. Yeah, see? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not responding. It's not doing anything. Hmm. Nothing. And did that yesterday. Yeah, but as soon as we got out to the truck, it started mm -hmm. working fine. Yeah. And I checked it before we came at the truck. Mm hmm Before we went into the visitor center. Yeah. I checked it, mm. and it checked out fine. Hmm. Everything was working. We've tried two different batteries. I got a third battery, but I know it's not the battery. Both batteries are in the green, but so it's not a battery causing it. No. It's not mm -mm. a battery issue. It's not a memory card issue. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. So. Now, as you can see, it, it wasn't working. It wasn't working, and I tried several times, all right? And we get to the end of what was our little tour that we were giving to you guys, and uh, she tried it again to do her outro. Wouldn't work wouldn't work at all okay so about I said about 40 feet in a video but it was actually more like 25 to 30 feet from there was the truck so we went over she was getting in the truck and I'm getting my stuff you know put back in the truck and and I thought I said you try this again she said yeah it's not working I opened up the screen boom working flawlessly no fucking way Okay, so monkey's camera we was having problems with through the whole time. Can you see that in there? Yeah. Is now working. Flawlessly. And in fact, we did our outro on that camera. And she also did a clip of a cannon as we were leaving we stopped it and we was looking at some of the uh, some of the pavilions and this one had a replica cannon of the cannon that they used during the war as a replica which she used that camera to film with because this camera died when I was when I was talking about how this one started working and this one died uh, battery level low I mean, it was full charge. We did the we did the intro inside. I usually got 
a couple good hours if I would just let this thing run a battery life. And there's no way I used a couple hours. I mean, as soon as we got out to the battlefield, this thing was half charged. And I only did like a 12 minute thing inside. And also, this thing, this recorder wouldn't work. You know, brand new batteries in it. This recorder, you know, if you look, if you watch the video when I'm talking about it, it was actually half charged. Like that, right up here. The little battery icon. It was like that when I first turned it on. And when I first turned the other one on, it came on and then shut right back off. It said low battery. And this one is was low. When, when we first turned it on, I didn't even realize it until after I was going over the video footage. But, so, the, the next two few second clips are done with this camera. So, which is, you know, it's kind of crazy. I don't understand it. Actually, it wasn't our outro, excuse me. We filmed our intro with this camera because we filmed our intro when we was leaving. Because we was excited, we wanted to get in there and we did our filming and I said, well, we can just, you know, do our filming, our outro on the way out, which that's what we did. And you, you do that sometimes. Sometimes I forget to do an intro and I have to do it at home or whatever, or I forget to do it and explain some things, but Hmm. I think it just maybe just went to sleep. But so the next couple clips are filmed with this with this camera right here. Now this camera's working and the other one went dead. Yeah. Isn't that weird? When we were showing them that this one started working, the other one finally puked the battery. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm telling you. Mm, there's there's something there for that. You yep. can feel it out here. Kind of excited about this. <laughs> out of out of two locations, two different locations, each one had a murder of some sort. Had had a killing. You know, the the sheriff's deputy was killed right in the area where that camera wouldn't work. The camera was working at the truck but wouldn't work around that area same way with at the battlefield the camera would work at the truck and in the visitor center it wouldn't work out on the battlefield where the massacre happened get back to the truck and it works so hopefully you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments below what do you think is going on because like I said two different memory cards two different batteries never had a problem with that camera until those two times and haven't had a problem since. It's like when we got away from that those certain areas, it started working again. Yeah, is it a ghost story? Not really a ghost a ghost story per se, but it is an interesting paranormal experience, and it's documented on video. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you enjoyed the clips. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos. Check out Monkey1000 and BXX32. They're awesome YouTubers. I appreciate it, guys. And Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Have a good one.